up for sale now vehicle max of a beautiful 2009 Nissan Armada SE 4x4 gray on the outside with black leather interior with um, a factory color backup camera front and rear parking sensors power tailgate has four brand new Bridgestone tires that we just put on that has le uh, that have less than a couple miles just back and forth to the tire shop it has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website vehiclemax.net we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street Miami Florida 33142 zip code open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays we have been in the car business since 1992 and it sold over 30, 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. I'm going to finish going around, show you all the wheels and tires and both and all, you know, every side of the vehicle so you can see that the car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. It also has a class 3 um, heavy duty towing receiver back here with the electrical connection there ready to go for all your towing needs. Rear wiper, rear window defroster, pri uh, privacy tinted glass, color coded fender flares, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. Also has front and rear mud guards. Again, these tires, we just had them put on. You can probably still see if you look close enough, the, uh, the, fat, the lines, I mean, it still has a little prong sticking out of it. Again, we got the front and rear mud guards. These are the color-coded fender flares I was talking to you about. I'm gonna finish going around the vehicle now and then get inside of it, get it started. Has also uh, factory running boards. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, now that we finished going around, and let's go ahead and get it started unlock the vehicle. By the way, the power tailgate can be opened by pressing uh, this switch here in the remote. You press and hold this button down here and the power tailgate will open and close. If the vehicle is unlocked, you can simply just walk up to the tailgate and pull up on the handle and the, uh, and the tailgate will open, obviously, as long as the car is unlocked. Otherwise, anybody can get access to your property. This is an eight-passenger. You got two bucket seats in the front. Let me go ahead and show you that. So we got buckets in the front, a full bench in the middle, and also a full bench in the rear for three more passengers. So that makes it a total of eight passengers. All right, let's, uh, let me go ahead and start up in the front. We'll move on to the back in just a second. The door panels are all charcoal. It has this uh, factory type, uh, type of uh, trimming here. It's like a carbon fiber type trimming, real nice. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, all that standard stuff. Um, the tilt wheel is a manual tilt wheel. On this side here, you can see here we have the, um, if you want to open the tailgate, you can do it right from here. You got power adjustable pedals, which come in real handy if you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. And this button here is used to disable the parking front and rear sensors. And the reason you want, might want to disable the sensors is that, for example, if you're towing uh, a boat or a trailer once you put the car in reverse because of the proximity of the trailer that's going to engage the um, the rear parking sensors and it'll be beeping the whole time which is kind of annoying so you want to be able to disable them got a driver's side power seat and power recliner as well as the seat is heated let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts tears or burn holes speaking of that there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats door panels headliner or carpeting and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. We got curtain side airbags here on the front post. And there's another set, uh, set of uh, curtain side airbags here on the middle post. I believe. No, I'm sorry. This, uh, that, 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 um, that curtain side airbag encompasses the whole side. In the past, they used to have another one there, but it's this one here. It's for the entire side of the vehicle. Okay, um, all right, so let me go ahead and sit down and uh, get it started for you. All right, 
right, first of all, we're gonna go get the AC going because it's very hot here today. We're probably right around 90 degrees. And uh, let me sit down here facing me just a minute so I don't die of a heart attack shooting a video. Okay, um, and let's go ahead and get the front windows down. The two front windows, as you'll notice, is an A on the switch. It means they're automatic, and what that means is simply that you can press and let go of the switch, and the window will go all the way down without you having to hold the switch. Same thing for the passenger side. And we'll leave them down just so that we can get a little more clarity for the video, because since the video, uh, the video is being shot indoors and the car is a dark interior, it, uh, it makes it a little harder. Okay, um, I don't know if you heard me before. This has the uh, select four-wheel drive, okay? It also has the uh, Bose stereo sound system, dual climate control. As you can see up there now, we got both sides to 60, but if I come down here, these two will do control the temperature. So let's say if I want to make the passenger side uh, 73 degrees, what that does is that makes the AC vents on this side of the car, this one and that one down there, blow at 73, while the, this one here and the one on this side here will blow at 60. And that way you can have two different levels of comfort in case they say the wife doesn't like it quite as cool as you. In reality, uh, you have triple climate control because the rear passengers can control their own temperature, so everybody's happy. Okay, uh, we also have uh, an auxiliary input for your iPod here, and a cigarette lighter adapter, one on each side here of the shifter, for your chargers or cigarette lighter. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to some music. Let's put, uh, let's put on the stereo here. Uh, okay, press here. So we can find uh, a little music. You can raise and lower the volume right for the steering wheel. Okay, you can lower the way here. You can power it on and off here. Turn it back on. All right. Um, this switch down here is to navigate up by your preset stations. These are the ones that you set yourself here on these. Uh, preset buttons and the way to set them is very simple you just press and hold for your let's say for example you want to set this station here I, do, I would just press and hold here and it sets uh, that to position B because you get A and B so in reality you can set five uh, six stations on each A or B so that way you can set up to 12 stations and that's just on uh, AM Okay, uh, you also got the mode button. The mode button moves you from AM to FM. Right now we're on XM. This radio does have XM capability, but right now it's on preview mode as you would have to call this number up here or go to that website to sign up for your own su uh, subscription. If you press again, you go back to a preset A for the FM. And if you press it once again, you go to preset B. And then one more time uh, for your XM over here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, leave it back the way we had it. Uh, what else? Okay, um, uh, again, you get a manual tilt wheel. You pull up in this handle here, and then uh, it's hard. I'm holding the camera here. It's a little hard, but let me see if I can set the camera here where you can see it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. I'll try to do it with one hand. It's kind of not, not a very interesting explanation. I'm going to reach through here, and then I can do it. You can tilt it that way and then lock it in the position that you like. Okay, um, the car has 69,000 miles. The car is running right now. And it's set on uh, two-wheel drive. As if you see that, that photo there of the car, once I set it on a four-wheel drive, the front wheels will darken so uh, to let you know that uh, the four-wheel drive is engaged. The car is running right now. I'm going to rev the engine. Keep an eye on the comment on the left-hand side of the screen. The reason I'm doing that is just so you can see the car is running. And that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine zoo, no maintenance zoo, nothing like that. The car is running to perfection. Uh, the only light that's on up there is the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot the video. Okay, uh, let's pan around the dashboard now so you can see uh, that there are no cracks, no cuts, no tears, and not lifting up anywhere, no burn holes or stains. Matter of fact, I don't know if I mentioned this before. If I did, I apologize for repeating myself, but there are no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke whatsoever, so it looks like the previous owner was definitely a non-smoker. Okay, this rear view mirror has an eye here that senses bright light. What it does is when somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Uh, also, down here you have these uh, three little uh, buttons that look like houses. 
That's your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a complex that has a gated community. Up here in the upper right hand corner is your compass. Let's you know that we're pointing your heading in the southeast direction. You got an overhead console here that has map lights and you got storage here. That's usually mostly for sunglasses, although you can put anything that fits on there. As I was saying before, we got triple climate control. There are controls up here for the front passengers, so they can control the AC for the rear passengers. And you can control the fan speed, the airflow, as to where it flows, and also the temperature. So we have, as a, in a sense, as I said before, triple climate control. There are more pockets up here. Here's another smaller pocket. These two are exactly the same size, and they look the same way. I'm not going to open them both, just to show you. And this here, it's also a pocket. Let's reach around here so you can see it. And then the overhead console continues all the way back, has map lights and AC vents for the middle row passengers. And I'll go back there and show you. Okay. To the right of the shifter, you got a couple of cup holders. Here you got a storage, but it can also be used as a water holder. Or let's say you buy one of those large uh, 32 ounce drinks, you could probably fit it in here, and this arm will keep it from moving. But this is mostly designed for like water bottles and stuff like that. Okay. Um, here where you rest your elbow. It's like a little tray here, you can put stuff as long as you don't open it. If you do open it, they're going to flip over to the side. Uh, over here, you have the nice deep storage to put in more things. Your main glove box is on the right hand side here. And as you can see, in there are all the uh, owner's manuals and supplemental booklets that you need for uh, everything on the vehicle. Um, we've got um, vanity mirrors with lighting, and the mirrors also have an extension in case uh, you wanted to block out the sun completely if it's coming in at an angle coming in through the center here. Uh, same thing on the uh, driver's side here. Uh, it does have a leather wrapped steering wheel and I'll pan around that nice and slow so you can see it's in phenomenal shape. Whoever had this car definitely took real good care of it. I mean just looking around the vehicle, the seating area, the dashboard, the steering wheel is a very telling tale. I mean look at this, it looks like the car has only like 20,000 miles. You know, no stitching coming apart, no color missing, just nice, nice and clean, no nicks, no cuts, no burn holes. Even the controls are on the side here. These buttons sometimes wear out and they, you can't really read what says on them because of the um, excessive use. All right, let's go ahead and turn it off and let's move to the middle section of the vehicle. And uh, after that, we'll go to the rear section and we'll conclude the video. I'm going to go ahead and stop at every door panel so you can see the door panels that are all in perfect shape without any blemishes. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following way. This lever, you can push it in like this. And what that will do is that will disable this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to work is this outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers, just do the opposite and this handle will start working again. Okay, in the back of the center console, we get AC vents for the middle row passengers. Got another cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers, and this pops out into a cup holder. A little hard to see here because it's kind of dark. Let me see if I move out of the way. You can see it better. Some light, let some light in. Okay, as I was saying before, you can control the rear AC from the front on the top console, or the middle row passengers have their own control here. Also, they can control the uh, the stereo, and there are phone jack I mean, headphone jacks there in case uh, you want you know you don't want them to, they want to be able to listen to the music without bothering the front passengers. Got a set of AC vents and map lights for the middle row passengers. A large pocket that can be used for storing away magazines or anything you put on. It's pretty fairly large that pocket. And there's another set of AC vents and map lights for the rear row passengers. If you don't have a passenger in the middle, you can flip this armrest down and use it as a cup holder and rest your uh, elbows here. If you uh, need to put it back, you'll just push it up. Uh, all the seats have uh, over the shoulder belts, including the middle row passenger that has, uses this one right here. To gain access to the rear, you pull up on this handle and the seat will lift and get out of the way for you to gain easy access. So it's nice and easy to get back there. It's not complicated at all and on the back here we got a full bench for three passengers and they all have an over-the-shoulder build including the middle row passenger which uses that build that comes off the roof okay back here on both sides you got storage and also another cup holder and as you can see the carpet is nice and clean no bleach spots no stains no nothing to put this back into place just push it down 
and lift up and you're ready to go again okay uh, there are anchors for your baby car seat on each side here all right let's move on to the cargo area and the rear again privacy tinted glass all around all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape they're not cracked or scuffed in any way they're nice and clear again we got the parking sensors in the front and the rear bumper there are two on each side of the bumper again uh, I believe now that the uh, by the way this is the camera oh I didn't show you the camera shoot let's go do that real quick that's one of the neatest features about this vehicle so uh, let me go ahead and do that before I forget uh, put the car started really quick here when you put the car in reverse I'm gonna back up so you can see here the rear camera will come on and it is a color rear camera that has parking guidelines okay sorry I forgot to show you that okay let's go back onto the tailgate area here okay um, again as long as the car is unlocked by the way you got a rear wiper rear window defroster here's the camera that we're looking out of uh, by the way, all the all the um, lettering and all the moldings and all the chrome trimming is in nice shape. It's not pitted or cracked or scuffed or uh, oxidated. To open the tailgate, all you got to do is pull on here, as long as it's unlocked, obviously. And the tailgate does the rest of the work. Okay, in the back here, we got a 60-40 bench seat. 60% um, on this side, 40% on that side. And as you can see, they have a handle here for a folding and uh, to fold that is very simple all you do is pull up on this handle and push forward and it lays down completely flat the cool thing about them being independent from each other is if you had to let's say put something large here a box or something or vice versa on this side you could still use the seating capacity if you needed to have another passenger here okay to close the tailgate we could do it from the remote or by pressing here or from the inside overhead console switch Okay, right rear tail light, perfect shape, no damage, no cuts, no cracks. Again, remember four brand new Bridgestones just installed. Right rear door panel, perfect shape. I'm sure by now you noticed that none of the panels have cracks or cuts or burn holes or any blemishes. None of the speaker covers are cracked. Of course, we got the child lock protection on both sides, not just the driver's side. And again, as I was saying, we anchors on either one of the outer seats okay uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the front here the outside mirrors are also heated if you can see the emblem there they're heated both the driver and the passenger side passenger side is also heated let's go ahead and pan over the seating area now so you can see also it's in great shape from a different angle Give you a look at the headliner and overhead console here so you can see it's not stained or sagging or no blemishes whatsoever and right now i want to talk to you about financing for just a minute if you require financing let me tell you we have excellent rates for good credit we also have special financing for not such good credit we even have some programs for really rough credit if you're concerned about the financing and you live a long distance away or you just want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved before you come over just go to the website vehiclemax.net Right on the home page is a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.